My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, given more gallons, attacked constantly by biology and electromagnetics, chased from place to place to place, and my life destroyed. Uh, and then here we go again. I woke up this morning, excuse me, and was told by my nice landlady who just returned from California that her mother was sick and that her mother is coming here to the United to, to excuse me to uh, New York to live with her and so she needs us to move out so she can have the room and what am I gonna say okay can you help us find a new room, please? We're not so good at it. We don't speak Spanish. The last people helped us to find one. The people before that helped us to find one, and we need your help. Okay, I'll help, but you need to look. Yes, I understand. Thank you. So, of course, I go back and I tell Petra, and she starts yelling at me. Oh, there's no mother. The mother's not sick. And I'm like, you know, embarrassed, you know, upset. I'm like, please, stop this crap you know it doesn't matter whether the woman is lying to us or telling the truth she has the right to ask us to leave and you know she she already got to the point where she said it, if you don't stop all this noise and fighting and crazy blah 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 all this, we're gonna have to ask you to leave so one way or the other I knew this was gonna happen you know it's it's insane our lives are, are such a mess because these people don't stop. And, you know, the ongoing trauma and, and the emotional, just, this is a nightmare. This world is a nightmare. And, you know, I'm constantly praying to God, please come into my life. Please show me what to do. Please help me. Please, you know, begging, pleading asking to be forgiven on every day and I know that, that I believe that, that any of the good things in my life must be because of that and yet I'm still hounded you know chased from place to place I don't get a moment of peace and the stress and the, the, you know, the reactions and I'm trying to like be calm and be humble and be gracious and be I, I don't know anymore I'm just uh, oh. yeah. God. really stressed out and so here we go again you know we just we, we haven't even moved in fully we haven't even fully unpacked Now, if I listen to my intuition rather than listening to all the pressures that life puts on me, I, I know it's not going to work out. I know that the patriot never listens to me. She does not listen anymore to what I say. She does what she wants, how she wants, when she wants. It doesn't matter what I recommend or what I say. And that drives me insane. We've both been so traumatized by this, and she's under constant V2K, and so, you know, she's only halfway there, because they keep her distracted, and, you know, I'm trying to get benefits, it's like, you know, I know my life is like one half, it's like a hair's breadth away from complete and total disaster. And I'm trying to not end up in the way that all these evil perp people who say stupid shit, pardon my French, wanted to, you know? I'm like trying not to live in the fear and the anxiety and the hatred and the anger and the... Um, 
trying to quit smoking. And the stress is just it's too much for me, man. You know, I have this medication that I'm supposed to take, and if I take it, I pass out. So I take the little tiniest bit, and I still pass out. It's... You know, now I got medications to get, the refills, and my doctor has been stricken, or, or, or they won't let her prescribe to medicate patients because she worked in the clinic that I was in that everybody got arrested for fraud, and so now, you know, right at the moment where my doctor said, do you need us to fill out some paperwork so you can get disability, and I said, yes. Okay, the next time you come in, we'll do it, and there was no next time because th th they brought the hammer down on them, you know? I didn't know. So, you know, here I am, like, running out of medication, hoping to God I can figure this out. You know, they want, like, a hundred and, and, for two, a hundred and, and twenty-four dollars for two of them. And the rest I can do without. But, this, you know, man, I just... I don't want to be left alone. I just want a life. I just want to quietly suffer and die from this crap already. You know? And they won't even let you let me do that. It's like... And everyone's telling me about, oh, Satan is, is doing this. And it's the demonic entities. And it's, you know, yeah, okay, fine, sure. But if I start talking about that, I'm considered delusional, except by other Christians. And I talk about the science, I'm delusional, except by people who have been treated this way. And so here we go again, struggling, you know, dragging all our crap with us, trying to find a place to live, never feeling settled, barely getting by, and this is what God wants from me. Thank you, Lord. It's really hard for me to understand, and it's really hard for me to push through to some victory, like the scriptures tell me. And I can't give up. What do you do? Anyway, thanks for caring, and thanks for watching, and thanks for letting me share. I know there's many of you who are going through this as well, and my prayers are with you also.